What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can make a comic book style looking scene inside of Unreal Engine absolutely free. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right here, I have the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.0.3 opened up right now. And I'm inside of my scene and you can see I'm actually navigating through my scene and everything has like this cool old school noir looking comic book style within my scene here. And this is real easy to set up. So actually, I'm gonna show you guys on the Epic Store first where you can find it. And so this one is from Tom Shannon. So big shout out to Tom Shannon, great guy over there at Epic Games. He made this shader pack a few years ago. And if you look through here, we have a whole bunch of different styles and everything, right? But if you look through here, he made this around 4.26 was the latest version that it can actually be used in. And so typically, if you have multiple versions of Unreal Engine installed, you would be able to take this, install it in 4.26, and then merge it over to the Unreal Engine 5. I have a tutorial on how we do this in the past, but I actually have a link where we can actually download it and just put it inside of our contents folder, and which I'll share with you guys down in the description and in the comments down below. But if I look down here, if I pull up my web browser, you can see right here, we actually have the processing folder. So all you would have to do is come here. It's actually officially on the Epic Games server here. You would download this and then you would come over to your file explorer, find wherever you have your Unreal Engine project. So you would have to make an Unreal Engine project first and then you would come over to the content folder right here. And so you would double click on this and then you would just drag and drop it. So I already have it dropped inside for this, um, for this tutorial here. You can see it's right here ts underscore post process and so now if i come inside of unreal engine 5 let me pull up my content browser a little bit you can see down here we actually have a folder called ts post process now if i click on maps i want to select this one right here i'm going to double click it so it's post process volumes double click this one right here i'm not going to save that project right there and that's going to open up a brand new project file and as you can see we have a ton of post process volumes in here so if i scroll up and look down each one of these post process volumes is something that we can actually copy and paste into our scene to get that effect so if i start navigating through here it's going to show you what the different effects do right so this one gives you like a blueprint style this one gives you the same thing we kind of have like the grid paper back there and if you just scroll through these you can see all the different cool techniques we have in which this one is pretty cool this is one of the 8-bit ones in which if i scroll over on my outliner you can see is this one right here and so let's say i want to bring over the 8-bit because i already have the comic book style one inside of my project i'm just going to right click on this i'm going to come down to edit and i'm going to come down to copy and now from here i'm actually going to go back to my my scene here so i'm going to double click on main and this is the scene that i originally had made up before so it's as easy as coming over here into my outliner, just right click, come down here to edit and paste. And now you can see we have a post process volume in which let me turn off the other one because you can see this is a really basic scene that I had set up for the comic book, nothing too fancy here, but you can see it's not being inside this 8-bit style. And so to be able to get this to engulf our entire project, we're going to have to tell it that we want this post process volume to engulf everything in the scene, not what's just inside the volume box there. So in order to do that, I'm just going to come down here to search, type in UNB, and that's going to bring up infinite extent unbound. So if I click on this, now you can see we actually have it in the 8-bit style now. So it's as easy as that. Let me actually exit this out. And no matter where I navigate inside my scene, we have that 8-bit style. So I did the same thing with the comic book here in which let me turn that off and turn this on as well. And so that one was called TS hatching right there. And basically that's all I did. So I copied that volume, pasted it into my scene and we're good to go. And so the one thing that I did notice whenever I was ready to render out this scene, it didn't like a PNG file for whatever reason it came out blank. And so whenever I rendered this out, I actually used the JPEG file and everything was good to go. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you want to have some cool stylized looks inside of Unreal Engine 5, it's as easy as downloading Tom's pack, putting it inside your project file, and you're off to the races. So once again, big shout out to Tom Shannon who made this post-process pack. It's really simple. Like I said, you copy, paste, put it into your scene, and you have some cool stylized works to work with. So if you found stuff like this helpful, make sure you leave me a comment down below or even give Tom a shout out down below. I'm going to send this over to him so you can check it out. So make sure you guys give Tom a lot of 
love there. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a big thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.